Good morning, children. All of you took out your social study readers. Lesson number 18 Environment and Pollution. Environment. Environment <coughs> comprises the surrounding or conditions in which a person, animal, or plant lives. Yes, now it is what it is this comprises means. It consists of or it is made up of uh, in which a person, animal, or plant lives in the environment there are there are continuous interaction between living and non-living things now interaction means what it is a kind of uh, involvement with someone or something so there is a continuous interaction between now the interaction is between whom between the living and the non-living things human beings are an integral part of the environment in which they live. It means they are something. They are the part of it. They depend mainly on the environment. Use its natural resources and the coexist. Coexist means uh, it's like um, at the same time. At the same time it is coming or happening with other living forms. However, the manner in which man uses his environment has changed it drastically. Drastically means extremely. It has changed too much. It is due to increasing comfort, needs, modern lifestyle, industrialization and increasing population. Why are these changes taking place? Because there is an increase in our comfort, in needs, in modern lifestyle, increase in population, in industrialization, all this because of these changes. This is an act of stress on the earth that has increased many times. Now this is a stress on the earth. It is it's kind of like a pressure on the earth. Thus the human beings are the major threat to the environment. Now who is the threat? The human beings are major threat. Why? Because they pollute the air. They pollute the atmosphere, they cut the forest, they cut the trees and lot of destruction. So, human beings are the major threat to the environment. Now, pollution. Now, pollution is basically the mixing of undesirable contaminants in air, water, land or soil. Now, what is this? It means, contaminate means uh, spoiling, to pollute. And how is this polluted in the air? It's polluted in the land, in the water. It is a mixing of pollution. And the main types of pollutions are air pollution, water pollution, soil or land pollution and noise pollution. It also affects our ecosystem that cause many health problems today. Now it is also affecting our ecosystem. Now what is ecosystem? It's like uh, balancing of the physical environment that cause many health problems today it has become a global problem global problem is the whole world's problem the nation's problem air pollution turn to page number 136 air pollution a number of harmful gases such as carbon dioxide carbon monoxide Sulfur dioxide along with the dust particles in the air cause air pollution. Now what are the causes of air pollution? You see this carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide. These are all uh, harmful gases. And once it is mixed with the dust, it causes air pollution. Human activities also. Yes, industries. And vehicles are the main agent of air pollution. Human activities means bathing in the pond, bathing near the riverside, throwing all rubbish in the water, in the sea, in the pond. Industries, outlets are the dye color is up put it in the sea. The outlet is in the sea. Vehicles pollution, all these are the main agent of air pollution. Burning of garbage, dry leaves. Burning of garbage means all rubbish and dry leaves, bonfire, barbecues and fireworks displays also add to, add to air pollution. Now these are all the causes of air pollution. 
so all this we should stop we should not harm the atmosphere now effect of the air pollution when the air is polluted what all happens respiration and health problems like bronchitis and asthma are caused by air pollution now this now because of the air pollution when you breathe in you are not breathing a pure air it's like the it's impure so when you breathe in it this bronchitis is a problem related to your respiratory system difficulty in breathing and asthma you keep on coughing so several million people are known to have died due to direct or indirect effect of the air pollution so because of all these air pollution impure in the air there's a great effect on each one's health global warming is caused due to air pollution now because of global warming it is caused due to what air pollution the temperature of the earth is increasing due to which the sea level is rising now the temperature of the earth is increasing when this is increasing what is happening the sea level is rising even the ozone layer is getting depleted now what is ozone again it is a harmful gas and the layer is getting depleted it is it is it is being used consumed just like humans animals also face devastating effects of air pollution the toxic pollutant deposit over the surface of the water can affect the animals now all these are very uh, destructive effects which affects the air pollution and when the toxin is mixed up and it is deposited it means collected on the surface of the water what will happen it will affect the sea animals now in the sea there are many animals living also there are fish there are other animals also which you have not seen there are big big fishes whales are there dolphins are there and many more other fishes are there all these get uh, they perish away they die away and they are affected yes so now we come to measures and solution f of air pollution where this is the effect yes now this is the effect now what measures can be taken what precautions can be taken in order to save our environment we must adopt a few measures and solution these are the measures these are the precautions we should take so we can save all our animals use public mode of transport yes now we have to use public mode of transport conserve energy switch off fans and light when not in use we must use public transport you must when you are not using electricity you must switch it off understand the concept of reduce reuse and recycle now these are the main thing what is you must understand the concept means the aim the motto reduce you have to make it something somewhere less what are you using something in excess or more reduce it yeah? and you have to reuse and cycle it means what we like plastics bottles and all any other we have to reuse it and recycle it use energy efficient devices like cfl lights that consume less electricity when you use your electricity what should you use you should use that which consumes less electricity emphasis is on clean and natural energy energy resources like the solar energy and the wind energy emphasis is means uh, importance should be given we should make more use of on clean and natural energy like the solar energy and the wind energy now children i i have read all this now i want you to read from all this very well anything can come from here fill in the blanks match the following true and false so be prepared with this and enough of work is given to you in your social study in your worksheet learn all that properly and this also you will learn okay so enough for now and have a good day